A lot of those evacuees had to flee their homes when the fires exploded. We've seen scenes like this, cars trying to get out as flames surround the road. Let's get right to KPIX 5's Emily Turner, live near the Sonoma Marin Fairgrounds. Emily. Yeah, good morning, Len. This is where many people have come. Now, a lot of folks in the last couple of hours have found other places to go, but this is an evacuation zone. And due to COVID restrictions, what you're basically seeing is RVs and then cars with tents next to it. Folks have to remain distant in order to do that. And there are two options on the Sonoma County side. This spot here at the Petaluma Fairgrounds and the other is the Sonoma Raceway. Now the Sonoma side, thankfully, as far as fire is concerned, is the much quieter side. That was not the situation yesterday, of course. So that is why there are so many people being evacuated. Now, again, it is quieted down today, but there is still a certain level of threat. In all, about 113 uh, buildings have been destroyed, including homes, many more of those have been damaged and 8,500 of them are currently threatened as a result of those fires. Now we were driving through the burn zone earlier today and we did see a lot of patrols for looters, police making sure they were checking on us to see if we were allowed to be there so folks can feel confident in that. PG&E crews yesterday were staged to make sure that power lines were safe, power poles were safe. Now that all being said, it's still not safe to go back in those zones and they want to make sure officials do that you do not not. It looked like a big wave coming over the hill, a wave of fire. It was crazy. Dangerous to go back in there. It gets in the way of the public safety resources uh, who are in there trying to fight the fires. Now, when it comes to schools, they are closed over here in Sonoma County. Here is a list of the districts that are closed. Bennett Valley Union School District, Kenwood School District, Rincon Valley Union School District, all Santa Rosa City schools are closed, and that's not just for today, but also for tomorrow, and Sonoma Valley Unified School District. Now, they are all closed. That includes distance learning, because as you can imagine, if you are a student and you're out here at the fairgrounds and you are staying in an RV or, you know, even more difficult, you're in a car and sleeping in a tent next to a car at the fairgrounds, that is awfully difficult for you to be able to do distance learning, unfortunately. And so school districts are being accommodating of that. Of course, there is an update at 11 o'clock this morning that will give us the latest on the fire. We'll be sure to bring that to you as well. Reporting live in Petaluma, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.